of a murder or something. I'm just curious. No, it's just that his dad left explicit instructions that I don't like him. Fine. I'm already bored. Hey, can I uh, invite this girl up and see him? Sure. I might invite Irene anyway. Irene? Who's that, your grandmother? No! <laughs> She's this girl I was supposed to go out with tonight. A friend of a friend. I haven't actually met her. But I talked on the phone with her. Oh, how precious. Yeah, I told her about tonight I was going to be a little late. And she was completely understanding. Actually, she might come later tonight before we go out. Cool. We can have like a steamy makeout session on someone else's couch. We can uh, play spin the bottle. We can even drink. All right, I'll get started on these orders for you. Well, let's hope James doesn't invite some strange woman to your house and, and hook up with her on the couch. Or worse, invite Lucas. Lucas? Yes, his friend. He's also an idiot. When we broke up, he came to my apartment drunk at 4 a.m., wondering if I needed someone to cuddle. Wow. <laughs> Oh, 
watching my daughter! David, I knew that was a girl! Wait, what the fuck? You're the witch guy, Dad? So you just left a kid alone in the house? No! Lucas is there, and Irene is coming over. Fuck Irene! <laughs>
said, so you wouldn't bother us on our date. Oh. Um. I understand why. Whoa! 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 Hold on. <laughs> you faked a child, so I wouldn't stalk you. Well, I wouldn't say it like that. <laughs> Ouch! Man, that. Well. Sucks. No, I get it. It's okay. We obviously need a little privacy here. Herpes girl, gay guys, time to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, have herpes. Thank God, I'm eighty-five percent STD free. I don't eat herpes. The last time, I'm straight. I like eighty-five percent STD free. Okay, let me divide it down. First of all, genital warts, and that is a fiction I have to do. <laughs> Still a bit of 
variety might spice things up even more. Some like it sweet, some like it salty. I like to mix both. That's both worlds. It's like this, and uh, you see this, this egg roll? Yeah, I'm sure it's delicious on its own, but add a little soy sauce and it can be even sweeter. You don't hear this uh, egg roll uh, complaining, do you? Now that's what I call variety. Um, I, I think, I, I guess I, I understand. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess I understand. Uh, speaking of food, I'm famished. Oh, we haven't eaten since this morning, has <laughs> Mike, you have to try Christine cinnamon buns. Hey, Mike, I wouldn't mind putting some frosty Christine cinnamon buns if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> they look delicious, so I guess a little extra frosting wouldn't hurt. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. I'm starting to think you might be an uptight square. Oh, what gave you that idea? Oh, I don't know. You just seem kind of, kind of, uh, what's the word? Oh, Mike, don't worry about it. Just relax. Gosh, you 
are spending the night, aren't you? Well, I don't know. I, I, we were planning on a drive, Artie. You've both been drinking. Um, and the cops will pick you up in a heartbeat. Oh. It's true. I mean, I'm sort of an expert on that matter. And cops and all. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I could consider, uh... Come on, let's see, Mike. I'm having so much fun. Yeah, the party's just beginning. Oh. Well, I guess we could stick around for a while. <laughs> Yay! Rebecca, you should give us a tour. Oh, you'll see it all. At least the bedrooms. What? I think I was talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! I'm out of champagne again. Oh, uh, maybe you should eat something first. Here, try this sandwich wedge. Oh, why? Linda likes sandwiches. Ron and I can be the bread. Oh, let her be a boy. Oh, I would. <laughs> Inviting friends over at the party is friendly. <laughs> oh, I guess that makes sense, but. <laughs> Mike, this is such, such a fun party. I guess, but. Uh, I feel like I'm in high school again. I know. Let's play spin the ball! <laughs> Talk about it, Marley. We talked about it. 
about the whole stacking thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. And Mrs. Gunderson? Down in the hallway? Oh my god, she's having a heart attack. Would you have anything, anything to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit. You should have seen her face. This is funny, Molly. What? It was an ugly cat to begin with. This is serious. <laughs> You have a bad day. Don't miss Ken Kills Miller. Okay, it's on your back again. This isn't about my boss. But it's true. Marley. She has Ken Kills Marley! We have to talk about last month. No, no, I am not interested in going now. <laughs> Listen, things are getting serious between between Karen and I. Things are really, really getting serious. But I thought things were serious between us too. <laughs> There's something about you inside of me. I just can't seem to get it out. <laughs> you think I'm pretty. <laughs> Stack the chairs. Listen, you gotta understand. It's not that I don't want you here. You don't belong here. Oh, 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 oh I gotta go take a Cheetos dump. <laughs> Marley. 
God damn. It's not fair, you know? I know. No? You don't. You don't know. I hit a semi full of fucking tasty cakes. <laughs> Why couldn't it be a semi full of electric guitars or wild, untamable stallions? <laughs> Do you know what it's like to be the guy who got smashed by a truck full of fucking tasty cakes? <laughs> And this, this, this picture, this has got to be the worst picture of me in the world. You picked it out for the slideshow of my wake. It's all over. And I look like a fucking dumbass hipster in it. Really? I say you got green shit in my teeth, too. Listen, listen, Harley. We mourned for a month. And then you, and you came back to visit us in the living room in a bathrobe, in nothing but a bathrobe, touching Oprah. Her stories are so powerful. <laughs> Listen, Marley, we want to help you to the next step. Karen and I want to, we want to build a life together. We could all three of us live here. No, Marley, no, you know we can't. I don't want to go. You have to, Marley. It's been a month. I'm calling Karen's friend in the morning. Good night.
lost spirit? What's that? Ask him on this? My spirit animal. <laughs> Oxymandias has told me that the purification chant will rid the house of any ghost. Chant? Oh, <laughs>
I'll leave, all right? I'll leave. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, I gotta move on to love after life sometime, right? I bet, I bet pick ass. You know, like, I bet there's fucking Cheeto Forest, you know? And I bet that they have blazing cars. Yeah, and I'm sure I get a fucking sword and bat wings. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 